Wolves in the Central Mountains are going to be a little bit safer this winter after a lawsuit keeps fish and game from trapping the predators. Conservationists are touting it as a victory, but sportsmen are worried about the impact on big game. Jake Melder is live in studio with that story. In a nondescript letter to the USDA Forest Service, Idaho Fish and Game said that they won't use their resources to manage wolf populations in the Frank Church River of No Return wilderness. It won't stop hunters with legal tags from harvesting the top predators, but it will mean fewer animals are taken out of the area. Cry wolf in the gem state, and you're bound to hear passionate debate on both sides. This year, Fish and Game won't pay people to hunt wolves in the Frank Church River of No Return wilderness due to a pending lawsuit. It's a victory for conservation groups. We don't think that Fish and Game should be doing predator control in the wilderness just to protect them. Uh, elk and to artificially inflate elk numbers. But Ron Gillette, an outfitter in Stanley and outspoken opponent of the wolf rehabilitation program, says the inaction will have deep consequences. That's really going to hurt the elk population in there, the bighorn sheep population, the mule deer population. Conservationists won't disagree, but say a natural order needs to be established. I do see that there's certainly room for both hunters and elk and wolves. How can you have a balance when you have this killer that kills everything? And don't tell me they only we eat the weak and the sick and the old. That's bullshit. This is just the latest in a long debate over wolf management. According to Fish and Game, the wolf population has gone from an estimated 684 in 2013 to 770 in 2014. A good trend for those who want to see the wolf make a comeback, but a concerning one for Gillette. The Fish and Game needs to stand up for the people of Idaho and for the big game of Idaho and take a stand. Wolf hunting is active in most of the state right now. Fishing game restricts individual hunters to no more than five tags per calendar year.